everybody. Welcome to a brand new episode of the Tiger Bay series. I am Alpha Neo Gold, and today, as you can see, I have a lot of wood in my inventory, and that is because um, I decided that I want to make, uh, well, I want to start making some paths. I don't want to just leave, like, just um, random grass where um, some oak stairs are, because I feel like that's that's kind of ugly, so I'm going to be filling that in, but that's just going to be um, sped through um, like normal, but um, we will be starting to make the fountain today, so I have designed a lot of the other projects, um, including uh, the fountain slash courtyard one, so as you can see, we have some stained glass for, for the future, but we're not going to be using that. Um, I don't exactly know if I'm going to be using all of, um, everything, so, um, sorry, every, like, um, type of stone brick, so, um, I obviously know, yeah, we're definitely using the regular stone bricks, not sure about the stairs or brick wall, um, that'll probably go into, um, some further detail. But, uh, for now, I am going to speed through where I have already finished the paths and going to get ready to, um, create the fountain. Now that we are done with the path, as you can see, everything is filled in with oak wood planks. I can now get started on the actual fountain or I guess courtyard area. So uh, I just realized I do not have a second water bucket. Pretty sure I still have like a little water source, like a secret water source, I guess. It's not really a secret. Is it right here? Yes, it is. Hey, I remember it. Okay, well, uh, actually, you know what, I'm just gonna put, like, uh, I'm gonna put back the water source from a while ago, actually. There we go. Wait, no, I put it in the wrong space. There we go, now we have an infinite water source. So we're gonna be able to fill up the, um, the fountain pretty easily now. I'm just gonna build something up like that, and I'm able to go over there. We'll go through there, so I think I'll be fine. So now we get to start actually building the fountain. Um, I want it to be kind of close to the middle. Hopefully, like, uh, um, at least maybe inside. To be honest, I don't really know where the middle point is. I'm not even sure if this is symmetrical. i kind of hoping it is, but, uh, oh well. So we got count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So then the middle point will be 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I'm just going to place a stone brick there. And um, the middle point here is where the stairs are. So pretty much around... This is going to be... Oh, no, there's going to be four blocks in the middle, isn't there? Huh. That That's kind of weird, but okay. Th that's the middle there, I guess. Wait. I don't, I don't think it has to be. I don't know. I didn't get a pick. Now we have all our tools. We actually have a stone pickaxe to uh, work with and break the stone. 
Um, okay. I believe since that's the middle point, this is the middle point here. Wait, no, because... Is this the middle point here? Because then I could just work off of this. Three, four, five, six. Two, three, four. Wait. Did I count that wrong? That is... That is five. Two, three, four, five. Um, yeah, that's okay. So then this is the middle point. This Aww. is the... Yeah. I should be right. Like I like I said before, I probably shouldn't be counting on everything because uh not again yet again, I'm not sure if it's gonna be symmetrical or not, but hopefully it is. So there we go. Um I guess now the um the thing is though, the other wow. fountain that I designed was for some reason I somehow got like a two by two like base area pretty much just like a four block wide so i got con a little bit confused there but now i have one wide huh this is a predicament you know for the sake of this where is i believe if i just just put it there yeah that'd be good it lines up with the stairs so i guess i'll go off of that so that's pretty much close to the mo point that'll just be easier because i did um I did before plan this out with um, like this base, but now we got to actually create the outside of it. So this is going to be like the little pillar where the water is going to come out of. And it's a it's a unique design. I haven't really seen it before. Um, but anyways, so we're going to go out by two, I believe. If I'm wrong, I can I don't want the thing is, I don't want to make this too big. So. I heard a witch. Wait, no, they're not under there, are they? I I have a bad feeling that there's like a ton of mobs down there, even though I'm pretty sure I lit that place up. Yeah, I can hear that. It's very disturbing. What the heck? These this looks a little bit too like diamond shaped. If I uh, hmm, uh, should I leave it like that? Wait, no, no, it's not even, it's not even. This has to be four. That's what was wrong. Okay, so then be one, two, and then three, four. And then another one here. Destroy this. Yeah, I hear a, I hear a witch down there. Oh, God. Uh, wait, wait. This is not is it no no it's not okay because i was going around everywhere why did i go into f5 it would be like this there we go so that part's good this part is just this yeah this part is just wrong no okay there now yep that this looks a lot better okay so now that we have that base part um i guess actually before I do anything, I'm gonna destroy the under part. And I actually kind of want to look down, if I can. Oh, yep, I, I see, I see the witch. Oh God, she poisoned me. Oh shoot. Uh, actually, there we go. Okay. Um, this is gonna be kind of. Wait, wait, no. What am I doing? For some reason, I placed the water there. No, I have to place the stone brick. Gosh dang it. I don't have my armor on. And that's probably bad. I probably should have put my armor on because I am in hard mode. But uh, but for some reason, oh well. I'm taking on my diamond armor for this. There we go. Uh. Yet again, though, I do need a uh, another milk bucket, I believe. Wait, no, no, no. My my poison's going away, anyways. I'm gonna stay away from the fountain for now, but I will be getting another, yeah, milk bucket, just in case. I feel like I'm prepping uh, too much of, I got m my um, diamond armor ready. You don't, you don't get it, I really hate witches, especially in hard mode. They do a crap ton of damage, and they are really annoying. 
Actually, for right now, I can destroy this because I don't really need that. Yeah, because I have the base. Uh, okay. Oh, she got me. Gosh dang it. Okay. Build myself up. I don't know how, um, I don't know how bad her pot uh, potions of harming do. Or, <laughs> what am I saying? I don't, I don't know how much health it takes away. That's what I'm trying to say. So that's, to, um, especially with full diamond armor, because usually I don't really encounter witches at that point of the game. I might, but it's not. How? Oh, wait a minute. What? She like she like splashed it through um, the block as I was placing it, but um, maybe I can just leave her down there and she'll just despawn by herself. I don't know. Y you stay down there with all those uh, dirt blocks. I'm just gonna keep filling everything in like this. Okay, looks like, oh, <laughs> looks like we don't have to worry about the witch at all, because I just covered everything up. Thing is, though, now there's a witch living under our fountain. That's not good. So I need to get more water. I don't know why I put it over here. I probably should have put it in the fountain. I actually will. Yeah, I th I'm pretty sure, because I have the base down, I should be able to make an infinite water source. So, wait. Yep, that's an infinite water source. And then just put it around like this. Ah, uh, here's zombies. The good thing is, though, I did put a lot of, like, lanterns around here. So everything is, um, uh, very lit. So nothing will should spawn, um, in my area at least. They, they'll probably spawn on the outside at most. Why did I put a block there? Okay. So, what I, I was thinking of doing before was, um, actually, yeah, if I replace these with chiseled, um, stone bricks, only at, like, the edges here, um, that, that would look nice. There you go. Put another one here. Here. There you go. And then, last one. That was just gonna be annoying. I will probably, I will probably kill her off camera or something. Or maybe if I'm able to, um... Um, uh, complete the fountain before the episode ends, which I'm pretty sure I'll probably end the episode when I get the fountain done, so uh, it's probably going to be that. So yeah, I'm going to be doing, yeah, I'm just going to be making like, kind of like a wall around this, I guess. I don't know. I, I thought it would look pretty cool. Let's destroy this. Destroy this. I feel like this is looking pretty okay with my first attempt of actually making a fountain in survival even though it should be the most like cliche to thing to do. I'm surprised I haven't done it um yet. It's pretty fun though. There you go. Now we just need to get everything else. Destroy this. There we go, and then this is the last bit. I'm actually gonna be closing myself in because, um, yeah, I'm gonna be building the pillar now. I'm not sure if I have enough chiseled stone bricks, but I can make more, which is good. So, um, before I was like doing a pattern, it, it, it looked like a pattern, so it would go like. Because this is 4 wide, it's pretty much just going to look like this. I forgot how tall um, it was before, but it should be around this height. Let, let me look back. Oh, God. Um, I went a little bit too far, but... Yeah, I believe I can do it. I'm... I'm wait, I'm not sure. Were, were the uh, walls this tall when I made this? Probably. They should be, anyways. Let's uh, tower up. Oh wait, I'm not, I'm not able to make that jump, what am I doing? We'll just water bucket up, I guess. There we go, okay. And then make one last stone brick, I, um, chiseled stone brick, I believe this is it. And then we'll start making the actual bit, why did I go into one? Okay, yeah, I feel like this is tall enough. 
now what I'm going to do is I actually I actually kind of forgot. Um, I believe um, I made kind of like okay. Let me just step back. So there were like little parts over here, and then, well, I, well, I as I was coming up with this design, I knew there were like two parts to a fountain, kind of. If you know what I mean, like there's a top part, and then there's like, well, no, there's like a bottom part, um, and then there's a top part. And I thought that would be um cool to kind of recreate. I cannot build there because that is a slab. Okay, I'm thinking really hard now. What am I supposed to do? I'm pretty sure what I did before um, was this. And then I put a slab here to kind of top it off to make that kind of like the um, highest point. Yeah, that, that worked out pretty well. Okay. So then this is the bottom part. Wait, I believe I made it a bit higher. I don't really know. If I destroy it, I'm gonna destroy this really quickly. Cause so I'm pretty sure. I'm, yeah, it goes a little. It goes a bit higher. So I do need two more. Actually, I'll, I'll need four because of the other layer below me. There you go. Okay. So how does the tire go? This one will go here, and the obviously the other one will go the opposite way. There you go, and then we top it off um, with this. Where's this? There's the stone brick slabs. There we go, okay. Now that we have that finished, I messed around a lot with like the stairs and stuff, and thought, yeah, yo, yeah, this was the, uh, that's what I was starting to do before. And then you would like make it go up again. Yeah, so this looks, I don't really know how this looks, but um, I'm pretty sure I somehow made a curve, so it like turned into some type of circle. I, I believe that's what I did anyways, I'm, I'm not exactly sure. But then because of how water works now, you're able to do this. Um, you're able to put it into the stairs, so it just goes down like that, and that's pretty much how I was going to do it, because... Um, the problem I was having, I I really had trouble just clicking F2. That's my F5 button, by the way. Um, but I had trouble with um, trying to make the water go um, at a good spot without like it overflowing like that. But that's only because there's dirt there. Um, actually, I'm going to remove that so that it doesn't stop overflowing. I'll put that later. Um, this part can stay, I guess. But uh, how did I, I, I don't know how I uh, made it go the way I did before. I believe if I just do this, then, hmm, no, yeah, because that would go my way. So then I'm going to have to build up, I'll have to build up here, like this. Wait, I'm going to have to destroy these. There you go. And then. There we go. Am I doing this right? I, I don't. I honestly don't know. Hmm. Yeah. And then. I believe I'm doing it right. I don't know. I'm still experimenting. Or it can be like. Did I do it like that, or did I just place two blocks like that, and that was it? Why do I feel like I just placed two blocks and that was it? And then I placed it like this. This is... I'm kind of turning this into like a circle shape at, at the top and I really like it. I'm going to fill this in anyways. Just because this is hard mode and I don't want like stuff spawning in my fountain. But yeah! Yeah, yeah, that looks pretty good. I'm pretty sure that's how I did it before. There we go, just minus the dirt, because there's a lot of dirt around here. And some other rubbish. Okay, now that I have that done, I have to fill all of them in there. Where's my water bug? There it is. 
Hey, I'm pretty sure um, we're done with it now because we're be able to be done with the fountain. Yeah. Yeah, that's how the fountain works. I, I feel like, I don't know, put in the comments below. Do you like this design? It's a bit unusual. But, I don't know. I, I feel like it looks cool to me. Don't really know about the top part if I made it too tall or not. I feel like I didn't make it too tall. But, uh, yeah, anyways. Okay, so the reason why it, it's um, the water is going to be going out like this instead of like usual ones that go over at the top and it just flows down. Um, because of these blocks here, the water will be pushed outward. So the water will literally be like right here. And that per that that doesn't look good to me. I f that that kind of looks pretty ugly with like water overflowing and stuff. Water is going to overflow right now. But wait, what the heck? I'm going to quickly place that back. Um but, uh, yeah, I feel like this, this does look a little bit better. I could probably do something with the top, I don't know. I feel like just topping it off, like, rounding it off, does look, um, pretty cool by itself, though. So, for now, this will be my fountain. That, that looks pretty cool. I like that. But, um, now that we have the actual fountain done, um, as you can see, there's a lot more, um, for this video so we're actually gonna be now as you can see there here I did leave a hole here this is gonna be the um, path going around um, here and I'll be like decorating it mostly with just bone I'm just gonna be bone mealing it I guess but I will be making a path around to go there and yeah that will be it <laughs>
is the end of this video here guys hope you guys did enjoy as you can see this is the final look with me um decorating um everything with uh bone meal as you can see there's more grass and flowers everywhere um i added um another kind of like bench and um also put some spruce um trap doors just because um that's a cool way to make um any type of chair I also put some lanterns around here, as you can see, I kind of dyed it around. Here, I, I made it symmetrical, um, just so like the bottom part can be lit up. And up top here, um, you can see wherever there's like um, a chiseled stone brick, that's where I put the um, that's where I put the lantern next to it. But uh, yeah, to me it looks it looks really cool. I really like looking at that as you go through here. Just open up the door, and then you're met with this beautiful fountain and this walkway. But, yeah, that's the end of this video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, sub like if you want. I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.